Hey guys, John here. It is almost Halloween, so we need to make something creepy, and pads are just kind of a creepy thing. So, file a new preset. Let's go from the wavetable to the sample. And a really cool one is in the other category called horror bows. So, something like this. All right, so it's kind of dissonant and kind of weird here. So, let's turn on a granular, maybe something like this. And for the start position, we're going to do something random and basically give it the. I mean, pretty much the whole value, right? Because we kind of want to go through this whole thing. Down here in this sample section, it's kind of, it's a little bit less audio. It's kind of more subtle, but it's kind of nice when it's still in there in the random stuff. So we're gonna have something kind of like that, right? And let's drop this down one octave here. So negative 12. It's kind of just almost unexpected, kind of just over all over the place. And for our envelope, let's bring this attack up a little bit like this and increase our release. It brings down just a bit here. And what we can do as well is add some unison to this to make it kind of spread out a little bit. And some more detune. So that's the first part of this here. Maybe a little bit more release might be nice. And for the second one, we're already on sample. And what's kind of cool here is if we go to the vocal and I think it's this one, Angelic. I really like this one. Let's bring in our start position, maybe somewhere around here so we kind of get the meat of it. And bring this up one octave here. So it's kind of holding the upper end of everything and kind of just giving it a little bit of granular, something like that. It's obviously a little bit too loud. Let's bring that down. Now, next thing we need to do is we're going to use this filter here for something first, but let's turn this first or the second one on and we'll keep it in multi mode, but let's go to a high pass 12 because we want our low end to be solid and not just kind of all over the place. So this is a nice way to do that. So maybe get down here, maybe in the 200s, so we still get a little bit of low stuff, but just not the subby stuff. We have something kind of like that, and then for the utility engine, we're going to turn on our oscillator, bring this to direct out, and this is going to be our low end. Maybe a little bit more attack and then a little more release, something like that. Okay, so now what we can do is we can go to our effects section and delay is gonna be kind of nice here. So let's turn this up here. Maybe ping pong. So it's starting to sound a little bit creepy there. And then for the reverb, we're actually going to use the shimmer. And instead of making it nice and pretty, we can just bring down our pitch shift down here to maybe negative one semitone, something kind of like that. Something kind of like that. And maybe since we're here, we could do a little bit of EQing just in case here. So let's bring up our EQ. And also as well, I'm gonna bring these down just one more here. And after we EQ, let's just do a little bit of compression just so the dynamics aren't too all over the place. Maybe we can do like four or five to one, something like that, and just bring down our threshold a little bit. And maybe on the second here, we can also do some unison for this angelic voice. 
And since it's granular, what we can do is increase our time a little bit and maybe our density just a bit here and increase the pitch so it kind of just wobbles a little bit more randomly. Okay, so we got that. So now we need a little bit of texture, right? So some of these noises are pretty cool. So if we go into, where was it here? Into texture, we have some interesting stuff. So maybe like metal grain, something kind of like that. Select this guy. Let's turn our second and our first oscillator or engines off. We have something kind of like that, right? Now that might be kind of cool subtly in the background with all this stuff going on here. Maybe we can get a second random one here and drop this here. And for the second random here, we can also kind of slightly modulate this volume here. So it kind of, it's not just static, it kind of just moves a little bit here. So we can maybe change this. Maybe sample and hold's fine. So we can sample this from the white noise and the re-trigger could probably be, I guess we could do the clock, something kind of like that. And here it can, we can really decide, we can go into Hertz and see how fast we want this modulation to be, but we really don't need too much. We can kind of just keep it subtly like that. So I'll kind of bring it up to exaggerate kind of what we're doing here. Maybe something kind of like that, and then kind of just tuck this in a little bit here. Let's try out the MS-20 because that thing never fails me. Let's bring this down here like that. And then the first macro is going to be the cutoff. So let's give it a good amount here. Same for the resonance for the second one and give it a good amount as well. And let's label this cutoff. And then the second one, we're going to go for res. And the third one, in this case, obviously we're gonna do sub because we kind of want to control this. So bring this all the way down, macro three, drag and drop. And you can give a healthy amount, something kind of like that maybe. So that way we have a good amount to pull through. It could be nice too, especially when the cutoff is kind of low and you have the sub just up there. Kind of build tension that way. Maybe this first one's a little bit too loud, so let's bring this down just a bit. Because those things are basically textures. They shouldn't be like the forefront of the sound here. So for our effects, we have our EQ compressor delay, and then we have our shimmer reverb here as well. That's probably all we really need for a patch like this. So for the effects, the EQ and compressor is fine. And let's go to delay. That is 28%. So 0.28. Oh my God, I can't even get it. Okay, and then the sh shimmer is going to be here. So that's going to be 40%. And then we can go to 40, something like that. Put this all the way up so our effects are active. Double click FX. We could also bring our master up just a little bit here. Oh, that's one thing I wish they changed. Whenever I move this master knob here, the, the, the pop-up always goes over the meters. Okay, and that's going to be about good here. And maybe let's increase some of the resonance, something like that. If you did want to build a little bit more on this patch, another thing you can kind of do to kind of slowly bring things in here is get a second envelope and kind of just increase the uh, the filter here. So something like this is put an envelope two and then maybe kind of slow the attack, something like that, and the release and maybe give it a little bit of sustain. But I mean, we're kind of already here, so maybe bring this pretty low down and then the macro for the first one. So maybe something like that and bring this down. And maybe a little bit more sustain and a longer decay.
Yeah, you could do something like that as well. If you don't like it, you could just double click this here and remove it altogether, but totally up to you. So we should call this something. The Headless Horseman, I don't know, it just came to my mind and that's what we're gonna do. Okay, this is the Headless Horseman pad. So if you wanna get the Headless Horseman pad, there's a link in the video description below and it can be yours. Hopefully you learned something and thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.